correctly. Um, but unit two, choice two, again, I mentioned that they are really similar to what is on the real final. Okay, just different numbers, different graphs. So you had to match each inequality to a graph that represents its solutions and be prepared to explain or show reasoning. Reasoning could be work shown. Um, so work shown does not count as, um, like I put it in dead books. That would not be work shown. Granted, if that's all you know how to do to figure out what the answer is, then fine. At least that'll give you some points. You just might lose points on the showing reasoning or work. All right, but um, the first one, 5x plus 10 less than 10. When we're solving inequalities or equations, what are we actually trying to do? Whenever I'm solving an inequality or an equation, what am I trying to figure out? Okay, and what would the solution be? What are solutions when we talk about inequalities and equations? Okay, well, maybe let me ask you this. If I made this inequality an equal sign, then can you tell me how to solve that? Oh, that's a yeah. Okay, so for inequalities, it's the same thing. When you are solving inequalities, you really just want to isolate the x. So whatever variable it is that they're talking about. You do the same exact steps as you would if it were an equation. The only difference is that sometimes you have to flip that inequality sign. Do you guys remember when you have to flip it? So flip inequality symbol. So write this down if you don't know. If you multiply or divide a negative on both sides. And when I say on both sides, I'm talking about on both sides of the inequality, not just in general. It has to be on both sides of the inequality symbol. If I multiply or divide a negative, then I flip that symbol. <laughs> Otherwise, you leave it alone. You keep it there as if it was an equal sign. So looking at number one, if I'm isolating the x, or what's farther from the x? Would I get rid of the 5 first or the 10 first? And how do I get rid of it? A. But if you go on one side of the symbol, you do the other. 5x is what I have on the left. On the right, what's 10 minus 10? 0. And anytime you do stuff on both sides, just check to see. Did I multiply or divide a negative right now? So then you just leave the sign the same way it was. What's opposite of multiplying five? Do I need to flip the sign for that? No, because it's not a negative. What's zero divided by five? Zero. So this is my answer for number one. I need to pick the number line that has a dot on the zero. And what kind of dot should it be? An, an open circle. Um, let's see if I have multiple that are like that. It's like B only it could possibly be for number one. But if there were two, say there were two that had an open circle on the zero, you would then have to see based on the way the symbol is. Remember the opening always faces the bigger number. In this one, we're showing that X is smaller. Everything smaller than zero. So that is also why it matches that. Does that make sense? So do you think from there you can finish trying it or is there like a difficult one on here that you want to see? Okay. And then I'll let you keep trying it from there so that you can figure out. Oh, okay. Number six? Okay. So then let's look at six. Solving for X. 
So there's usually some steps you can go through. It's usually distribute if necessary, combine like terms if necessary, move the variable to one side if necessary. So I'm looking at it. I don't have to distribute in this one. There's no like terms I can combine because this one has an X in it. So then I do need to move the variable to one side. Now, it doesn't really matter which one you move, um, it's up to you. But I'm looking at this and it's really hard because this is in a fraction. How can I make it not a fraction anymore? I can multiply by the denominator. I can multiply the entire thing by a three, which is my denominator. And that will one, break up the fraction, make it easier to solve. And I'm allowed to do that because whatever you do on one side, you have to do it on the other. Like it's just a rule. So if I do that and look, this happens to cancel out the three here, which was ends up being a 14. So you have 14 divided by three is 14. Um, then this ends up just being minus X. And then on the right side, what's three times X? Three X. So by doing that, multiplying by the denominator, it's now a lot easier to solve. <laughs> now I can move the variable to one side. Do you want to move the negative X or the three X? And how do I move the negative X? Whatever you do on one side. And I highly recommend always move the one that's smaller because then it's less likely you have to worry about the negative. So then on the left side, 14 less than or equal to what's 3x plus x. And then opposite of multiplying by 4 would be to whatever you on one side. And then now I have a fraction. Um, what's 14 divided by 4? 3.5. Check me on that. So then I need to find what kind of circle, open or closed? A closed one on the 4.5. So definitely not F. B was already eliminated. Definitely not C. Definitely not B. Definitely not A. Um, so let me look more closely at E then. We got one, two, three, four. So yeah, that's a closed circle on three and a half, pointing to where the x's would be bigger than three and a half, which is the same thing we're already calling it that. Does that make sense? Yes. Well, Yes. Um, so questions on this. All right, so let me take you to this one because I think, you know, if one person has a question on it, probably other people do. Um, so if you have to find all this information from a dot plot, it doesn't look like dots, but that's what it's called a dot plot. Um, how do you like organize your data? Like what is my data from a dot plot? Like how many zeros do I have? How many tens do I have? Um, do I have any twenties? How many thirties do I have? So then when you're doing this one, if it helps you to write out all your info, go ahead. Don't just write it once if it has two dots. Don't just write it. Don't write it once even though it has no dots. You know? <laughs> all right. Other questions at all? And um, zero is the data point. Like, I know it doesn't really do much to like when you add something, but that would be your number of data points. So make sure you know that. Um, no other questions at all? Any other? So if you do, let me know. Um, don't pack up until 1.24. Monday is only like a 35-minute class, so make sure you come prepared with your questions. Thank you.
and then that's going to take the real thing Tuesday. I highly recommend attempt them all at least. Even if you don't know how to do all of it, attempt it and hopefully you'll get at least 100% on it with attempting all of it. 